it is my high honor and privilege to stand before you today. In a nation divided by political ideology, held hostage by fear and race baiting, and trampled on by rampant extremism, we must remember Dr. King's dream. There are those who seek to turn back the clock on the political progress and the social safety nets that have made America the most powerful nation in the world. People of good conscience and all people of good faith must not allow this to happen. America must not be known as a nation only for its military might, but rather for doing what is morally and politically right. America is a nation of laws. We must not hide behind the cloak of injustice when historically many of its people are treated unjustly. Dr. King said that an unjust law is not a law. I submit to you today that an unjust Congress bent on the annihilation and destruction of our nation simply because of the race of our president is not a Congress. Our president brought this country back from the brink of a Great Depression, ended two wars, and even won the Nobel Peace Prize. Now that's greatness. We must remember the Constitution and it clearly states that all men, not the few and the privileged, not the gifted and connected, or the rich and powerful, or even the 53%, but all men are created equal and we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights. As the fiscal drama in Washington, D.C. unfolds, we are all spectators to a reality show that has captivated a nation. We are spellbound as our Congress leaps from one crisis to the next. Congress may hold the purse screens, but congressmen and congresswomen must remember that our president, by the will of the people, holds the purse. Dr. King said faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. As chairman of the newly state chartered Martin Luther King Jr. Advisory Council, I'm glad to say that Georgia, birthplace of Dr. King, has finally taken the first step in creating a council dedicated to promoting and celebrating the life, the legacy, the teaching, and even the principles of Dr. King, Nobel laureate and father of the civil rights movement. Let us take action and step out on our faith. We must, we must act to protect and uphold the Constitution of these United States. We must act to protect the 47%. We must act to protect the poor and even the disenfranchised. We must act to protect our veterans, even those that are disabled and contemplating suicide. We must act to protect the mosaic of cultures that comprise the social fabric of America. Dr. King said that we are all connected by this common thread of humanity and an inescapable hymn of the garment of, of destiny. This is our calling. This is Dr. King's dream. Thank you, Dr. King, for your life and your legacy. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.